Hello, it's Kate with a wonky camera. <laughs> um, I got a box to open and I've got my new smart doll with me who is not wearing any clothes. And uh, Dolly, you know, the Dolly nudity warning. I am gonna show off her really big tits at some point that are not attached to her body. So this is Diana. I really love her. She is very beautiful. I love her hair. Um, I love her face. What I don't love is the fact that you look at it and it stains. And I think this is even worse than my Dolby Dream. Um, although, when I was unboxing her, I was trying to film a video of it, and I was very, very sick. I should have just been asleep. So this is why there isn't an unboxing video of her. And I managed to get a mark on her face. Now that came off with Magic Eraser. This one, I don't know where it's come from. At least I knew what caused the one on her face, and I got it off straight away. This one won't come off. Um, with Magic Eraser. I think I'm going to have to do the zit cream thing and that's just freaking annoying. So I'm getting to the point of I might start giving her tattoos just to cover up the fucking stains. <laughs> However, I think she'd look pretty bitching with some tattoos. So, I, like, I love her hair. She's very... Uh, let's see if we can darken it a little bit. So you can see she's got quite a sultry look. Kind of mischievous kind of saucy um, and yeah I, I feel like she'd have some tats um, not sure about piercings just because I don't want to I guess I could always like just glue a couple of studs on somewhere but yeah so this is Diana covered in marks of which I have no idea from whence they came like some of these are blue like, why the fuck is there blue on her? I, like, I really don't know. Maybe some Smurfs have come along and rubbed themselves on her or something. I don't know. But anyway, because she's just been laying on the doll bed that I made. I will put a photo in here. Let's see if I can brighten this. There we go. Um, so I've made a doll bed. It's got curtains. It's got a mattress. Everything is white. Where the fuck is the blue coming from? So I'm going to put her down and let my cat out because she's Lola is being mental. Have a drink of wine and open this parcel. So I've already started opening this parcel because it's got addresses on it. But it's from Sweet Days. Ingrid Gilbert, Sweet Days, Blythe. She does the cute wee helmets. I had a scalp that I got from her that I actually ended up selling... And I'm really glad I did because it looks so good on its new owner, on the new doll that it's on. But she had some Uni Kitty helmets that she made. Some really cute washi tape. Uni Kitty! Uni Kitty! Oh my god, it's a unicorn kitty! So I'm really excited to put this on one of my dolls. Um, and her little note. Thanks, Kate. Hope your girls like playing unicorns. Yes. Yes, they do. And also getting drunk because they're my dolls. So, yeah. They do what they know. So, in this wonderful unicorn bag, I have two Blythes that came to work with me on Friday. Um, now, they're still in their stock outfits. And their hair's rather a mess because they've been in the bag all weekend. The lovely Agatha, yes, that is now her name, permanently. And the extremely lovely, whose hair was really nice and then she's been in a bag, so now it's not nice anymore, but honestly, I haven't washed it and it's actually pretty good. This is Georgia, because there's a girl I work with, I say a girl, a lady I work with who is called Georgia, and this doll looks exactly like her. Um, so there you go. And I took her in on Friday to show Georgia, big Georgia. And I said, is it alright if I call her Georgia or mini Georgia? 
And she's like, oh my god, that's so cute, rather than get away from me, you freak. So that was really great. So here is Minnie Georgia. Um, I still haven't actually redressed her because I'm not sure what to put her in. Um, I need to... I need to sort out my blithe clothes again. I need to tidy my craft room still. Uh, I just, I've got so much to do. But I love her. I love her so very much. And I am so happy I got her. Um, and I really do love my new smart doll as well. And I'm so happy I got her. So things are pretty good in Dolly World for Kate. But this helmet, oh my gosh. I can't wait to put it on someone. Where am I going to put it on? I'm not going to put it on you, Luna. So it's actually, I think it's mohair as well. So that's nice. And, oh, the lining is really cute. And the little tiny unicorn horn. It's so cute. I don't know how she's attached it, but it's adorbs. It's so adorable. Oh my god, I'm going to vomit. It's so cute. <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> yes, vomit in a good way. And I like that this button is actually a snap, because I was a bit worried about dealing with that. So now she's a rainbow... She's a, she's a kitty unicorn mermaid. Um, so she's having a bit of an identity crisis. But, oh my god. Oh my god. That is so freaking cute. Um, yeah. So I pre-ordered this. Um, I saw... Because, of course, Ingrid's in my country. So I saw when it came up and I was like, gotta buy that. Gotta buy that. <laughs> gotta buy it now. Um, and it's just so... It's darling, is what it is. It's absolutely adorable. And I love it. It doesn't really go with her outfit, except it kind of does because of the pink. Um, oh, and it's kind of got blushing. I love that. I just, I love this. This is great. This is going to be a really great addition. Because the thing is that, like, I do sometimes find, like, I love the teddy bear ones, but for my dolls, I don't think they quite work. But this is just that bit more extra <laughs> you know it's that just that bit crazy so it fits with my girls um because they're not like the sweet innocent flowers all the time they're just a bit bonkers like me so there you go um so i'll put mini georgia down over there i can put this down over here oh, i can smell my wine i've earned this it's my last week at my current job. I start a new job next week. I am very excited. I am very scared and nervous. Um, and today I had a very, yes I use very a lot, I had a very stressful day. So I have wine. And I'm going to drink my wine. Oh man. The Australians make a really good cheap Shiraz. I don't know if it's Shiraz or Shiraz, but Shiraz, as some would say. Um, who do I have here? I don't really have that much to show. You saw my, uh, if you watched my video um, of unboxing stuff from Cherry Dolls Boutique, then you would have seen the stuff I got from Cherry Dolls Boutique. Um, the other part of Diana is her giant chest, um, which I'm not going to put on her because it's a pain in the ass. Um, I need to make her some clothes of her own that will fit this, that will not stain her. <laughs> I need to make her some... Um, like protective body stockings um, so I need to go to the shops um, but mostly I've been knitting and crocheting like crazy so these things need their ends put in but I have made five and a half hats 
<laughs> yes, because I've got one that's in progress. This one, it's got all of the ends and looks like an octopus. Did I already show this? I'm not sure. But so I've made, and these are so beautifully soft. Um, so three, four, in it will be four in this color, two in these colors. And at the moment, I only have two pairs of socks. Um, but I've got one more currently on the needles and I'm just doing the toes. I'm just finishing them off. And then hopefully I'll get another pair made tomorrow. Because I still have to get these to Nicky somehow <laughs> for his stall. But, um, you know, uh, based on what happens, um, I might, you know, offer some of these for sale. Like if they don't sell on Nikki's stall, I'll offer them for sale on um, Instagram or something. Or, you know, maybe I would, I'd consider commission. I'm not really keen for the commission thing because I like to do things when I want to do them. Because <laughs> I'm stubborn, yo. Okay, that was dumb, sorry. Um, but yeah, I am really freaking stubborn. I am a Capricorn. I don't like being told what to do. And, um, yeah, so. But um, there will also be other choices. Like, I got some new yarn. Did I show the new yarn? So, I'm planning on using these to make some cool dolly stuff. Probably not socks. Although I could, because it's merino nylon four ply, which is um, sock yarn. So I could make, oh, they're so glittery. But I was going to make some sweaters. And I've got some nice, so those are, those are from a friend of mine in Wellington, um, Dark Harbour Yarns. You might have seen them on my Instagram. She's really cool. She does beautiful yarn. Uh, this is from a friend of mine in Auckland who also does did the yarn that I'm using for these. So that's from Happy Go Nitty and um, so this is Silk and Merino and I think this will make like a really nice cardigan or actually I think a cardigan would be really nice in this kind of stormy grey. Um, but I'll, the thing is, with per skein of yarn, I can get a couple of dolly items out of it. And it does actually take a long time. But it ends up looking beautiful. And um, I want my dolls to wear nice clothes. I'm not buying cheap-ass yarn. Because I know this is good quality yarn. I know the colours are beautiful. So, yeah. And then I've got this yarn which I might make some more hats out of like this because this is the same yarn base it's from the same dyer um, Tash of Holland Road Yarn Company in Wellington her, this her brand is called Niche yes very cute and um, I've uh, I had so much of this yarn when I started going to the because I used to go to the fiber retreats quite a lot and I had Oh, I had boxes and boxes of it, and I actually de-stashed it last year to pay for dolls. Um, because I went through a period of not knitting because a lot of the pain was in my hands. Now, I'm knitting again and crocheting again, and I find that the niche yarn is really nice for crocheting for me. Um, I mean, everyone's slightly different. so. Um, but yeah, so that works really nicely. Plus, I've got things like little tiny balls of hand spun. I've got a lot of hand spun and I need to use it. So, you know, if you said, hey, can you make a pair of socks with some hand spun yarn? Um, and I show you a photo and you choose which one. Yes, I can do it. Yes, it's going to cost a bit more because think of how much time I put into even this took a long time because um, I spindle spin. But, you know, you get to know, you get that. <sighs> Reassurance that it's, you know, really handmade by someone, you know, whatever. And if you don't want that, that's fine too. Um, yeah. So I need to get on to making some stuff after the weekend. Um, because we're doing a bit of a, um, there's a bit of a swap going on Halloween themed. 
and so I've got to get on to making stuff for my Halloween swap recipient. So that'll be really cool. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not very exciting. Um, tomorrow I'm sending out the, hopefully tomorrow, I'm sending out the Uno Boy along with a load of treats from New Zealand. So it's been a really, it's actually been a really good experience. I haven't minded um, it all being on layaway uh, because I know what it's like being on the other end and it was one of those sort of chain situations where it's a bit like being in the housing market where you're waiting for someone else to sell so they can buy your house. That kind of thing. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah. Have a great evening. I'm going to finish off a pair of socks and cast on another. I'm going to drink my wine and might play some World of Warcraft or I might just do some crochet. But I hope you have a good one and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!